You want more visibility for your books? Well, video is the way to go, my friend. And today I'm gonna share with you 10 ways you can use video for your book visibility. Let's get into it. I'm so excited today to talk to you, my friend, the published author, finally has brought this book to life on how you can get more visibility for your book. You're watching Visibility is Power TV. I'm Rashonda Pratt, known in the digital streets as The Rose Show Live. I'm a video visibility coach and producer, helping you to be seen, heard, and paid because your visibility is power. Thank you so much for being here. Do me a favor. A couple of things I want you to do. Go ahead and tag another author your author bestie, someone else who has published a book and is just sitting on the shelf or they're not moving their book inventory, okay? Because I am about to drop the gems. Number two, if you haven't already done so, listen, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because sharing is caring. And when you hit the subscribe button, you get access to a notification every time I drop new content. I'm really excited about today. And of course, in the comments here down here below this video you can get all the information on how you can continue to engage with me i'm excited to talk to you today about why your visibility is power especially as an author listen you have labor to bring this book to the masses and what i know about this is it was a long tedious process you finally stepped into getting your book out there to market but we need more people seeing it your book needs visibility and one of the ways I've been able to sell my books, my books turn into master classes, summits, speaking presentations, et cetera, is because I have learned how to use video to get more eyeballs on my product. So I'm excited today to share with you 10 ways you can use video, whether it's live video or static video, you know, the videos that you record and post for video visibility as it pertains to your book. Now. One of the things I want to go ahead and tell you that this is a series. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. This is a series that we're going to be doing, showing people, authors, coaches, consultants, people with products, how you can use video to gain more visibility or brand awareness about your product or service. And in this case, even your book. So again, I want to encourage you, if you're not already do, doing so, listen, tag someone below or hit the share button and share this out with other people. Because listen, you're an author. I love books and I want more of your books in the marketplace. As a two-time author myself, written a book, CEO of Live Video, that became an Amazon bestseller within 24 hours. And then my most recent book, Visibility is Power. I understand what it means to produce something and then wanting to get it out to more people because this is your message, right? It's not just your baby. It's not just your book baby and you got it done, but it's really your message that you really want to get out to more people so it could really change and impact their lives. And I'm telling you, one way to do that is with video. Now, we often heard in the digital streets that your content needs to be valuable in order for people to really engage with it. What I want to remind you is the contents of your book is valuable. Whether you've had one sale or no sales, the content inside your book is valuable, my friend. And you have to make sure that you're sharing that value with people. One of the things that I see a lot of authors doing is they write this book, they put it out there to people and it just sits there. And they keep sharing like images and graphics of their book and telling people, buy my book, buy my book, buy my book. Even when it comes to pitching the media, here's a hint. I see a lot of authors doing this whole kind of thing of, my book is amazing. Let me come on your show and talk about it. No, we have to dig deeper and go inside the book. It's really going beyond the cover, right? Wow. That was a good, that was a good segue. Going beyond the cover to get to the contents on the inside. We have to take those contents on the inside, share a little bit of it with the masses who are watching so that way they're intrigued to go buy your book. So we're going to share some things with that. 
So why am I focusing on video content? Not just because I'm the first lady of visibility and I love video, but video content really makes it easy to reach out and make a personal connection and really engage with people. 80% of people, according to statistics, 80% of people rather watch a live video. Are they watching you? Are they watching you talk about your book? Well, I believe after today, we are about to change the game and change all of that. Video content really brings your book to life as an author, right? It really goes back to what I just said. It goes back, it goes beyond the front cover and really takes people inside the cover store, inside the story rather of your book. Video content helps to build that trust factor, that know, like, and trust factor that if I buy this book, it's not going to be a scam, okay? When you look at video, authors have multiple channels in which they can produce video content for. I mean, think about it. We have Facebook, we have Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. You have these multiple channels that you can use as a selling engine, as a marketing tool to get your book out there. It's amazing. And one of the things that we know to be true is video content continues to dominate. Ladies and gentlemen, it is going nowhere. So when in Rome, do as the Romans do. I have to go along to get along. And so I have to understand as an author how I can use video to my benefit. So I'm really excited about what we're going to share. Let's get into this content and how you as an author can use video right? To be seen, heard, and paid with your book, okay? So number one, one of the things that you can do really off the bat is create a book trailer. Think about it. When any movie comes out, there's a trailer. If you are watching Netflix and you want to know more about the movie, they, inc they uh, create an enticing trailer for you to go and check it out. So think about how you can create a book trailer. And Canva, I am not an affiliate for Canva, but Canva has stepped up their video component. I mean, you can record now inside of Canva. So you can use some Canva tools, whether you have a free account or a paid account, to create a book trailer to tell people of the coming attraction or to market your book as it heads to market. I really love this. My second favorite idea, all of these are my favorite ideas, by the way, but a lot of these I have tried in marketing my own book. My other thing that I love about this is uh, hosting virtual book signings. I love this idea. And I actually did this with my first book here, CEO of Live Video, shameless plug, available now at all major book retailers. And what I did was I needed to get people excited about this book. So the book is talking about how you can create a live video experience. It's talking, it's giving people the step-by-step -step on how to create a live video experience. So what did I do? I hosted a virtual book, book signing before virtual became a thing. So I jumped on live video and I started talking to people about the book. And I created a link where people can go and purchase the book in real time. And while I was teaching from the book, remember I said providing value. As I, I had to have another person, so it was my husband. My husband was off to the side and he was telling me people who are purchasing the book in real time. And then I would say, hey, Cynthia, I just saw that you purchased a book. And then I would stop teaching and sign their book in real time, show it to them and say, this book is headed your way. Is that not a powerful way to get people engaged with what you're doing? It's a game changer, ladies and gentlemen. So think about how you can host a virtual book signing that can pull your audience in and also at the same time use it to, you know, get more sales. Three, a sneak peek of the upcoming release. I love this because I love sneak peeks because it's a way to get people excited about what's to come. Much like a book trailer, it's an opportunity to get people excited about what's to come. So when you're talking about a sneak peek, it could be something as simple as um, dropping the uh, book cover. One of the things that we did is we had two book covers and we allowed our audience to vote on which book cover they wanted for Visibility is Power. This one won by a landslide. Seriously. So we had people 
we use that as a sneak peek to say this book is coming and you have an opportunity to participate in that. Well, here's the thing. It creates excitement and also it creates engagement. Double E's, right? Excitement and engagement. So they're excited about, oh my gosh, Rashawn is dropping another book and they're engaging because now they get an opportunity to have a say-so in what book cover we're going to pick. Listen, people love to have a say-so in your life. <laughs> Give them an opportunity. So a sneak peek, it could also look like maybe you already have the book in hand and you have a copy of it. So it's going through showing people how to use the book, showing people some of the testimonials you have. Like if I was to do a sneak peek, it would look something like this. Oh, my friend, Adrian Young, right? She's sharing, she's one of the case studies here in the book and she's sharing X, Y, and Z. That's the way I would do a sneak peek. So think about that sneak peek. What's really popular here on YouTube is unboxing. So your books arrive, do an unboxing live. People love unboxings and they love the energy that it provides. So think about your um, book arrives. It's your first time seeing your book, baby. So open it up in front of people, express to them how excited you are, the emotions of this. See, emotion is a part of storytelling and let them be a part of this live unboxing experience. So don't open the box by yourself, but come on on video whether it's live or you record it and do an unboxing live. People love those kinds of things. Intro new characters, introduce new characters. I love this by the way. So if you're a writer that has several characters in your books, take the time to introduce those characters to your people. How cool would it be for you to show up on video as one of the characters in your book? That is so, so cool. So stepping into the space and showing up as one of the characters in your book is like life changing. People are sitting there watching you say, oh my gosh, I can't read more. I can't wait to read more about Samantha. I feel like I know her already. So this is going to require you getting into character, right? And showing up as that person or introduce the character to people. Tell about Sarah's lifestyle, who she is. Really take time to describe who she is, how you create the character, maybe where that came from. People love to know the background and the process. So think about how you can introduce new characters. I love that. Next, host a book chat with other authors. Listen, we're better together, my friend. And so if you have other people who've released a book, host a book chat together. Four of you, three of you, or maybe even two talking about your book experience and your book journey, right? And, and let me just go ahead and deal with this whole thing about, well, that means they're going to get more sales than me. Well, if you look at it like that, but I can look at it as a win-win. I have this author's audience. They're getting access to my audience. And listen, we both know going into this that our book is not for everyone. So as you're putting it out there, you'll attract the people who are interested in what your book is about. But I think doing a book chat really helps to um, introduce yourself to new audiences. It also takes away this feeling, especially if you're uncomfortable doing live video solo. Now you're not doing it solo. You're doing it with another author. And then also it's great practice because you can now take that book chat and repurpose it for other content later. I love that. Show the process. This goes back to what I talked about going behind the scenes. People love behind the scenes, okay? So show them your writing process. Do you have a particular time of day that you write? Do you write in a certain space? And do you have your diffuser on or certain music playing? Show people your process. And this could be whether it's a live video or maybe this is a short form video like a Reels or a TikTok. Show people your process because they want to be a part of that journey. I think also what's really powerful about showing people your writing process is you give people permission to do the same. So maybe there are other writers or authors who are watching you and now you're showing them your process and maybe they could adapt their process in their own life so they could finish their book as well. 
singular author interviews. So what does this look like? This looks like maybe hiring an influencer or a person who does author interviews, a podcaster, anybody like that, and having them interview you about your book and turning around and using that content maybe on your welcome page for your book or something to that effect. So think about how you can garner a solo interview as the author of your book. This is another favorite, okay? Book reading live. I love this, especially if you have a great voice and especially if you have characters who are multi-leveled, right? And I think whether you're fiction or nonfiction, anyone can do this, but do a book reading live. It literally is setting a scene and atmosphere and coming on and maybe not reading a whole chapter, but maybe reading a paragraph or two, maybe reading a page and then going deeper in the dialogue with the people who are watching you there live. I think that's so powerful. Even if there's like, um, I did this one time, there was a particular quote that I did here in the book and I read the quote in the context of the book, Visibility is Power. Again, you can get this at um, major retailers as well. And um, I then in this live video, read it in the context of the book. And then I went deeper into my thoughts of what that quote means for me, why I felt it was necessary to include it in the book. And then it op I opened it up for people to share their insight or ask questions surrounding that quote. It's really powerful. Again, a great way to entertain, right? And also have engagement, okay? And then finally, the day in the life of vlog, okay? So if you never heard or know what a day in the life of it's really taking people in the day of the life of you as a writer and author so what does that look like so um there was a season we were doing a lot of traveling with our first book see over live video and so maybe it's me showing me getting up in the morning uh preparing for my talk doing the talk the book signing that happens afterwards and then me reflecting on the day this doesn't have to be long ladies and gentlemen it doesn't have to be like 10 minutes but just day in the life of giving people a scoop of what it looks like a day in the life of when you finally get your book into a local bookstore that can be a vlog as well and when we say vlog it's a video blog hence vlog so think about how you can use that as well Listen, if you're an author, I want you to post any of your questions below, or if you need me to expound on anything, put those in the comment section below here. If you're an author and you're saying to yourself, these are all great, Rashonda, but it really requires me showing up with confidence. And that's something as an author, I still struggle with. I mean, it took me forever to get this book out here and I'm glad I have the book out here, but I still struggle with my camera confidence. Well, guess what? We have a resource for that. And I'm going to share that right here below this video. It's our mini course, a camera confident CEO, how you can show up confidently on camera. It's my best practices and the tools that I use to beat the fear of showing up on camera to now creating a community, a thriving business, and getting paid for the content that I create. Now, if you need to go a step further and you say, listen, I'm, I'm grateful for the mini course, but I need some hands on. I need to create a video visibility plan. I need a plan for my visibility. Well, we could support you with that as well. Listen, you are watching Visibility is Power TV. This is part one of our series on how authors can use video for their book visibility. Coming up, we're going to talk about how speakers can use video for their visibility. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Listen, I'm Rashonda Pratt, known online as The Roast Show Live, video visibility coach and producer, helping you be seen, heard, and paid so you can make impact, influence, and income. Your visibility is power, my friend. Step into it.